This is a story about the first fight that I've ever lost. And just before I get into this story, I would just like to give you a nice backstory of how all this shit came to pass. Back when I was small enough to be picked up, I was already picking up inspiration of one of the world's most recognized martial artists on the planet Earth, the creator and founder of the Chimwemwe dance. I mean, <laughs> Jikundo, sorry. One, the one, the only bruce lee this guy has just always been the greatest connoisseur of kicking ass in history of mankind it's like every morning this man wakes up he gets up from his kick-ass bed to brush his kick-ass teeth with his kick-ass toothbrush to go eat his <laughs> kick-ass cereal with his kick-ass <laughs> ah, okay sorry i've stopped i've stopped now, my point is, Bruce Lee was tough, and this made him a little bit cocky, which is another word for arrogant, by the way. So, since I saw this, I kinda emulated some of his personal qualities, you feel me? Why? Because they were cool, okay? So, after begging and convincing my parents to let me do karate, which was the only martial art I knew at the time, they refused because they were talking to me like they were telling me stuff like no it's because it's violent and the religion and blah 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 yeah, i tell you you can only imagine some some parents like ours whenever you just ask them like to do you anything like anything that has to do with a favor Obviously, they're going to point back to religion to say, no, because of our religion, you can't do this. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying that, mm, why follow religion all the time? Like, I went anyway. <laughs> like, I didn't pay any fee though, but I ended up making friends with the sensei, which meant he agreed to give me some training, just enough to get me, just enough to get me to the yellow belt. Well, getting to the yellow belt signifies the first beams of sunlight that gives seedlings new growth and fluctuating life as such. The yellow belt is a symbol that symbolizes basic competence and that warns by the bigger who earns to practice the basic moves of karate. In other words, yellow belt means kicking ass but not all ass, you feel me? But now, we're getting out of the topic. Back in Kafue, I know this guy named Clive. And when I reached like 9 or 10 years old, I remember a day when I was in the neighborhood <laughs> kicking it with my boys with a yeah, gun that yeah, I stole yeah, from yeah, my yeah, parents' yeah, bedroom. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and be yo, whoa, whoa, chill, chill. Before you say anything, yeah, that was a fake gun. But of course, I didn't know it was fake at the time. In my mind, I thought it was real. So, I ask myself to this day, WHY THE FUCK WOULD MY PARENTS KEEP A FAKE GUN? <sighs> I guess I am never know. Anyways, I was walking with my boys through the neighborhood and I came across Clive and with... Hey, he was with his squad. Of course, the, uh, the very nature of that squad was a little bit apprehensive, you feel me? So, when the boy Clive saw me, he started getting a little bit bitchy, you feel me? Like, something was funny. Like, he passed me while laughing. Like, something was funny, which irritated me, of course. And, you know, I don't really remember how that story went because it was like... I don't know, 15 years ago. So, blah, blah, blah. Some controversial, confrontational shit happened. So, me and Clive got into a fight. Bro, when I say fight, I mean it was a fight, my G. Goku would be watching that fight like, oh my God. <laughs> I bet the devil was like, bitch, what? Anyway, I felt a little bit of glory in the fight, you feel me? Because I spent some time in the dojo to know how a real fight feels like. So I was like, ha, I'ma beat this boy till his grandma feels it. But little did I know, little did I know that this boy was tough, my G. Because I tried one of those karate kicks that the sensei told me to do. And then, you know what happened? 
this is what happened. I did one of those kicks, and then he held the kick, and then he swept me to the ground, my G. Bro, when he held that kick, I fell to the ground. But I wasn't accept. I couldn't, I just couldn't accept to get defeated like that. Like, I'm some kind of penis baby. Like, what the hell? So at this point, I got mad. Like, genuinely mad. I thought of the gun that was in my pocket. I reached for it. Then I pointed it to the sky and then cocked it and then I tried to shoot him. When I tried to shoot him, he ran into the bush and then... There were no f***ing bullets. And then the crowd went, wow, And then I got up and then I was like, hey, you think you're the big shot? You think you're the big shot, man? I can beat you. I can beat you. Oh, who can you beat? Who can you beat? Who can you beat? I'll beat you just. Oh. That's, why you, that's why at your place you're in Shima using a straw. Oh, that's why at your place you use toilet paper, chikamba. Oh. See, this nigga just call me a chikamba? I'm from Kafue and then somebody just called me a chikamba. Jesus, help me. Oh, why are you talking to yourself? And then I got mad, bro. I entered into it one more time and then I just tried to beat him. He swept me down again and then he started punching me on the nose. Once I was down, he jumped on my chest and then he started punching me over and over again until I lost. There I was on the floor. Total defeat. Humiliation. Obliviation. Controversion. Prostitution. Detritation. The rotation. <laughs> this was so humiliating in so many ways. Of course, when I got home, my mom asked me why I had a black eye, and then I thought I was in a fight. And then once I thought I was in a fight, I was expecting her to be a, that kind of caring mom to say, "Yo, son, what happened? I'm so sorry about that. Uh, can I get you some chocolate or maybe some ice cream, nigga? She freaking beat my ass. You feel me?" Moral of the story, no matter how old you are, no matter what race you are, no matter what gender you are, check yourself. Don't go around intimidating people just because of your physical strength. That's a God-given gift, you feel me? Take care of yourself, fam. See you at the next video. I love you. Take care. Whoa, guys, what a story. Ah, this story also surprises me too, you know? After all, I'm a 10 toes and back then I used to get beat up like a, like a sack of who knows what. <laughs> anyway guys, thanks for watching my video and subscribe if you like this video man. Make sure you click that like button so I can know you like this video. And just to encourage your boy, make sure you go down in the comment section and put a comment. Of course I ain't telling you what to do, do it. Anyway guys, thanks for watching my video. New videos coming out every Friday at 15 hours. Don't miss my G, stay tuned. With that being said, peace. Waking up the same every day is a fantasy. Features look the same, but I swear they're really different depending on the effort and the time that you gon' put on it. My nigga sweating blood, but it's really, really worth it. I'm gonna keep running till it's close enough that I can touch a nigga working hard just for no or little thank you. My friends be gang banging and I'm over here chasing dreams and I ain't gonna stop. Until I get on Google, search. motivate, motivate, holla, motivate, holla, holla.